You know, I love experiments that don't require really any materials. And for this experiment, it's amazing because every time you go to the doctor, you get to ask your doctor, hey doc, can I please borrow a tongue depressor? Because all we need is just tongue depressors and rubber bands. And I, I could show you how amazing sound truly is and how, again, we need a vibration, you need something for the vibration and the air to travel through, and you need an ear. And I'm gonna make an amazing instrument using nothing but tongue depressors and rubber bands. <laughs> Sound like a rapper, rapper Carmelo. <laughs> now step one is you take a rubber band, okay? I think a thicker rubber band works great for this experiment. And I take this tongue depressor, and if you wanted to, actually, you can color your tongue depressors so that your harmonicas look amazing, okay? I'm just gonna make mine non-colored, but if you wanted to use markers, you can make them colored, make them look fun. You can actually look, you store bought these. So step one is take your tongue depressor large rubber band for this step. And you can take it very easily, just wrap it around your tongue depressor. Just like that. Easy step. Step two, again, cardstock. I don't like typing paper, I don't like computer paper, I like using cardstock. It's a little thicker, and makes the experiment work that much better. And I'm gonna cut out a piece, two inches. Two inches by two inches. So there's your math measurement, okay? And I take it, and I'm just gonna fold it, fold it, and fold it. So I'm gonna take the square, and I'm gonna fold the square three times. I'm gonna take a piece of tape that I'm just gonna roll around so that the tape is sticky on all of its sides, okay? Take the piece that I cut out, put it on the tape. I'm gonna take my second tongue depressor, not the one with the rubber band, and I'm just gonna tape it, not at the end, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space just like that. And now I'm gonna do the same thing twice. I'm gonna take another two inch square, remember two inches by two inches by two inches. I'm gonna fold it, fold it twice, fold it three times. It's exactly the same step. Take another piece of tape, roll it so that it's sticky on all of its sides. And you're gonna make this exact, it's gonna be symmetrical. It's gonna look exactly the same, you're just gonna do it on the other end. Again, a little bit of space, and now I have that. Kinda of looks like uh, you're going snowboarding, right? But we're not. Now I'm gonna take what I did, step one, and step two, and I'm gonna make a, a stick sandwich here. And I'm gonna push it together, okay? And now I'm gonna take two smaller, thin rubber bands, okay? And if, it, it doesn't really matter, but I really think if you had a thicker one, it's fine, but these thinner ones really, really work best. And I'm gonna make this really tight, right over where the paper is. I'm gonna take the rubber band, I'm gonna rub it around, uh, maybe six or seven times, just so that that end is really tight. One two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, you're gonna make it exactly the same on the other end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, when you look at this, it doesn't look like much, right? But the cool part is, when you speak, the vibrations from your mouth hit the rubber band, the air, other vibrations are made, amazing sound that's heard. The compressed air creates these waves that travel through the air, hit your ear, and you hear music. And if you don't believe me, here, look, check this out. <laughs> breathe in, <laughs> breathe out. You can even talk into it and make really cool sounds like <laughs> Make music, it's awesome. And you made a homemade harmonica using nothing but tongue depressors and rubber bands. How cool is that? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.